Coming up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Jose Aldo and Frankie Edgar. All right, so here's the former UFC lightweight champion, Frankie Edgar, beat BJ Penn to win the belt back in 2010. Competed at featherweight for a while as well, but this was really a guy, DC, who popularized competing at the natural weight before it became all the rich. Yeah, he just didn't want to cut weight. He told me also that because his kid wrestles, he won't make his kid cut weight because he doesn't cut yeah. weight. Why should he make him do something he won't do? But he fought where he felt most comfortable. He was not draining himself. And by not draining yourself to get on the scale, Frankie was able to fight with a pace that a lot of those 155-pound guys could not match. Frankie's a phenomenal wrestler, wrestled at, the uni at Clarion University, coached at Rutgers University, but has developed striking under Mark Henry that is as good as anybody in the organization. And when you bury him, what does he do? He comes back and shows you a vintage performance. Got knocked out by Brian Ortega. Came back to dominate Cub Swanson just about six weeks later. Frankie Edgar back on the proven ground here tonight. All right, here he is, the owner of four famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one, the only, Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose <laughs> Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that oh. beautiful liver shot. To finish in Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide featherweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, Frankie, the S.R.E.G.G. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go all right, so here we go. Round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to look out into the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase the mission. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 
Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Aldo gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Single collar tie. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Leg kick checked by it. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. So 31 to the Try to establish that jab. Oh, nice. Nice. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. Oh, big left. Edgar gets stung by that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice one-two there by Edgar. Goes to the body there. And they set. Oh, such a natural jab. And there it is again as he gets the hand right to the toe. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose. Just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to paint once and then throw that jab right behind him. It's nasty. And they separate. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice punch there by Al. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. aggressively to start this fight and landing at a pretty good clip too connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body very technical striker but tonight really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career and he connects with a punch there we'll see if there's more where that came from boxing 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 kick to the body by him and a nice jab there champ the jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. He's got to be careful. This is heavy to throw that jab. Final seconds of round one. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. So a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. 
keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go, fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Attempts the front kick there. Big punch land. Ooh. Connects with a right. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he landed the right hand there. Oh! his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Edgar's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aldo. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Edgar. Just over three minutes to go. While the ground and pound is there once again, strong work here by Ed. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Edgar. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, Edgar comes in and lands, and now he gets out. This is a hard guy to get a beat on, DC, I would think, because he's there and then he's not. The number's 126 total strikes and counting. Him now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. And connecting with 62% accuracy, by the way, against Frankie Edgar. So a much different approach. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hands high, hands high. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And then he lands a nice elbow. He lands flush with that right hand. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job. He's accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Nice kick. You guys are going at it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him with his hip into that kick. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent's back. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Aldo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight right is there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with the left hand. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Look at how he turns his 
hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big left. And right. what a round! All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Third round underway. It almost looked like he went up there for a second. Checks the light kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And both guys really throwing with authority. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Big kick lands. Ooh, Superman punch lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, oh. If you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, how about the output, the effectiveness, 176 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. And in terms of... Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you do. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. And a miss with the right hook. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Going the winner by knockout, Jose Aldo Jr. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion 
than he ever could have imagined. 